Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, direct from Los Angeles. Big time wrestling is on the air. Hold on to your seats for thrills, for chills, as the BTWA brings you professional wrestling at its finest. Spectacular battles, the biggest stars, a no-holds-barred extravaganza of explosive action. Now, let's go live right to ringside, the mecca of mayhem, and your host and ring announcer of big time wrestling, Bobby Waco Ribson. Thank you, Big Jack Miller, and welcome wrestling fans everywhere. Once again, the BTWA brings you, our loyal wrestling audience, the challenge match of the decade. Not since Johnny Warmonger defeated the great, the legendary Mulchman has BTWA had a match of such colossal proportions. On my right, Bates Motel. The undefeated BTWA champion, winner of 422 consecutive matches. Sucker, I'm Bates Motel. You're gonna check into the ring, but you'll never check out. Who tonight faces Mr. Nice Guy. Undefeated champion returning here tonight from a successful tour in Yakima, Washington. Mr. Nice Guy. You know what they say about nice guys? They finish dead! It's good to be back. I can't tell you how long I've waited to smash this animal's face into the canvas. What? The only thing gonna be mashed around here is your pretty face. I make a promise here and now. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. I want you to suck my mouth. I want you to... There you go, right up there. Let's go. <laughs> wrestling? I can't believe this. A friend of mine, a PhD, a man of science is watching wrestling now. Well, I was waiting for the special on stomach stapling, and I figured I'd kill some time with some sports. Sports? Yeah. Yeah, what are you kidding? Wrestling is to sports is what the gong show is to star search. Do you have any idea what kind of bimbos watch wrestling now? Kills everybody. What a nap. Nate makes the best in town. I've known him and Hattie for years. Talk about great people. Mm -hmm.
Johnny. They nearly killed him. I'm okay. Nate, it's me. Milk, you okay? Yeah, sure. I'm your... Oh. Hey, masked man. Who are you anyway? He's an angel. I'm, uh... I'm, I'm the Avenging Angel. All right. hey! Champion of the underdog. Hey. The hope of the oppressed. Yeah. And, uh... And, uh... The wrestler of the 80s. Yeah! Let's hear it for the underdog! <laughs> Misfits, misfits of science, ha, ha, those wild and crazy scientific guys, I love them, yeah, those misfits. <laughs> Take a number like the rest of your friends? Hey, yeah. You got all our calls. Can you bring him down to the kennel? But Eden, he'll know. He won't be able to tell. Hayes! And you and the dog. Billy, you're late. Hayes, it took me an I'm hour to, to step aside. Um, Hayes, forward. you can't do this. No, you can't. I've had people, I, uh, people Shh, are complaining. Our subjects are sleeping. I wish somebody would pay me to sleep. Particularly at five dollars a head. Of all the mornings to be late, don't tell me you overslept. You mean we're paying for this bark off? Richard, we take our fiscal responsibilities very seriously, okay? I mean, we didn't order the two-headed dog, did we? Hayes, the noise, the smell. I, Hayes, I'm speaking. I'm Hail. speaking to you. You Hail. know we have a hygiene problem here. Listen, you know, I, I hope you're not too ticked off. I mean, I know how Order. tough it was to get these critters in their cages, but get, that's get, not why I'm late. Get, get. The woman who owns Weimariner called. The dog is refusing to listen to Dolly Parton. I, I, I like dogs. You can see that. But you see, I've had a call. I've already had a call from a pal. Got a health department. No, see, Richard, we need a lot of dogs so we can analyze <coughs> all their doggy <coughs> dreams. Sissy from the Afghan kennel called. One of the dogs is shedding. She wants to know if you want the old hair. Dream. See, that was. I was having this great dream. I mean, I was on my second Nobel Prize, and I tried to wake up. Elle. Honest to God, I did. Right. Watch your step. Dogs! Yeah, see, Richard, uh, the big ones are, are hard to house for it. Go ahead, show them. Richard, can you stop playing with the dog, please? He's in our next shift. What is this? What? What is this guy? A wrestler? <laughs> what are you guys kidding? Come on, that's wrestling? It's theater of the stupid. Hayes, we were there. Chloe? Chloe? Okay, there's this guy, Milt. And he's wearing this costume, and he was trying to help out someone. <coughs> and there's these other two guys who were going to make a sandwich out of him, so I... You used your powers. And now he thinks he's a super... <laughs> a superhero? 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, I think B-Man will agree. I, I think it's time you set this uh, angel milk guy straight before he has to eat his wings. B-Man, can you help her out, please? Someone have an appointment with the Board of Health? They're here. Milk, putting your picture in the paper like this, you never know what kind of nut could call you. Milt, you can't just take an ad out like this. I mean, you get yourself in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Look, Glorious, Milt is what it was. Avenging Angel is what it is. Now, that wasn't no accident, and that wasn't any luck. That was me. Just tell him, Glow. Oh, tell me what. All my life, I've been sitting in the corner practicing my moves and nothing. Now, all of a sudden, I'm sunk. I'm moonbound. <laughs> Milt, um, before you take any cases, I, I think there's something you ought to know. With all the ink I've been catching, uh, I think I'm going to get a shot at the pros. The pros? Yeah, wrestling. See, I've been pumping iron and practicing since I was 19, and it finally worked. The Avenging Angel is my ticket to ride. Celebrities are us. Going to turn my bus pass in for a gold card. Maybe my own cartoon series. Gee, hi. Saw your picture in the paper. You were great. Real hot. Yeah. Hot's my middle name. What's yours? They call me CJ. You're even cuter in person. Yeah, yeah. You hear that? You call me hot. I've been living in this neighborhood 12 years. Nobody ever said hi like that. Now, Gloria, tell them. So you got something to say, shoot? I think you're going to be a terrific wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I got to run. Uh, good to see you guys again. Uh, if you need anything, you know where to get hold of me. 555-H-E-L-P. I have time for your crime. Yeah. You didn't tell him. I know. So what are you going to do, be his guardian angel? I mean, you can't follow him around for the rest of his life. Just for a while. Can't you see he's never been this happy before, ever? Glow. Johnny, no. I'm not going to do it like that. Forget it. So how will you tell him? I'm going to tell him my own way. Thank you, sir. Hey, my first celebrity customer. How's it going, Bill? Roy, one eight by ten glossy serial number uno goes right there. The Avenging Angel will never forget the little people. Even if he does forget his laundry ticket. Are you serious? How many costumes like this do you think I have? I'd really like to see how you look in this. You would? the street? That's Rick's. He's with us. Just a little handshake and the street is yours. Give me a minute and then go remind the guy in the glass store that his dues are late. It's dangerous not to have any protection. And uh, be careful because I wouldn't want you to cut yourself. Kind of scary, but definitely a nightmare. Yeah, you know, this is a well-cared-for animal. I mean, look at that belly, that coat. Guys like us, we can have bad dreams. Dogs like this, I mean, they wait to hear the click of the refrigerator door and then, you know, dream of fetch championships. Mr. Ed, I'd like to join your union. Hayes. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, hold on, B-Man. Hawkman's training table tips, Great Gordo takes a child bride. Miss Nance, this is beneath trash. Well, these are real people with... Real stories. I mean, they're very popular. Miss Nance, let me explain a little something to you. The plague was real and very popular. Oh, the plague? What a great name. Did you ever see him wrestle? Yeah, go be man. Hey, thanks a lot for the Gloria Patrol. I tried, Billy. Believe me, she wouldn't. 
tell him. You got any more great ideas? Hey, man, you were my great idea. You used to be persuasive. She's still on a one-girl crusade to save Milt's big moment. It's noble. Not a great career move, but... Yeah, well, it's gotten worse. I just spotted the two clowns that started the rough stuff down at the arena. Getting chummy with one of the beat cops. I don't know, looks like trouble. Hey, all right, well, look, uh, B-Man, you better get Glow out of there. Um, Milt, too. trouble of finding it. Don't you guys ever learn? We owe you, boy! Milk! Drink this, Oh, not again. What do you expect me to do? brainwave tape is around here somewhere. Gloria, you're supposed to tell him the truth, you know. Billy, Milt needs to be the avenging angel right now. He needs that. Glow, he's in way over his cape. He can't even mash bananas without you. Fellas, Gloria, I have some rather distressing news. Yeah, we got a bigger problem than Milt. What, you mean the guys that Milt arrested? The health department is not pleased. I repeat, not pleased. I'm talking about who they work for. Capital M, little O, little B. Ah, oh, come on, B-Man. M-O-B, M-O-B. Are we talking organized crime here? Right. They're selling protection and they own a couple of cops. Are we seriously talking about those middle-aged men with the funny nicknames? Oh, Richard, will you relax? They're not interested in us. I mean, if you ever watch TV, you know that they're all down in Miami. <laughs> Am I allergic to dogs? Hey, B-Man, where are you going? I'm going to the wrestling arena. Hey, Al. Oh, no, Billy. Well, it's the mob. Come on, just keep an eye on him. Somebody should go with him. It's okay, I'll punch you out. We don't have a time clock. That's right. Oh. Listen, oh yeah, by the way, Billy, when you're finished with Milt, I think there's a sick little girl on a jetliner that needs a guitar. Okay, I'll tell Milt the truth. Okay, I'm gonna go with you. You understand the County Board of Health? Why don't we have a time clock? Why do the Cunningham Labs have a time clock? I forbid to leave this lab. I forbid you to leave this lab in the middle of the day. I forbid us. I, I, I. Still oh, no, thanks. No. no. <laughs> so tell me, Albert, how's your mother? She finally kicked that flu? Yeah, she's fine, Mr. Rogers. Thanks. Uh, now, good. listen she's about that. She's a sweet that. lady. Always reminds me of my Sarah. Yeah, she rest in peace. You take good care of her now, you hear me? Yeah. Now tell me about these two collection problems. Well, we would have got the skins, but this this guy is some idiot looking for publicity because he wants to be a wrestler. A wrestler? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not at my expense, Albert. This is where he lives, huh? Yeah. That girl was trouble at the glass store. 
Somehow she helped that wrestler throw our guys in jail. Heroes are bad for business, Albert. People stop paying. Teach them a lesson. An accident? Oh, no, 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 no. You sign it. Make sure when they see what he looks like, everybody knows it was me. Yeah. Hey, uh, you sting? Who, me? Yeah, you look like him. Really? Yeah, I would have thought you were him. Yeah, right. Hey, you got any rainbow dips? No. Nope. Give me a box and I'll watch your truck. Bus. No, I'm sorry, kid, okay? Hope you got a ride home. Free law student, probably top of his class in plea bargaining. Yeah, hold on. Oh, it's you again. Come on in. Thought you might have wanted some help from the angel, but were too shy to ask. <laughs> uh, not really. Milt, this is Billy Hayes. Hey, Billy, how you doing? How you doing, Milt? Good to see you. Nice wings. Thanks. Listen, um, I'd like to talk to you about this uh, Avenger gig. Well, look, uh, if you're an agent, I think I'll pass. I got some... Uh, feelers out to some of the movers and shakers, and besides, I think I might take care of it myself. You see, uh, I got a call from Kovic at the arena. I got a match. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hey, that's great, Milt. Uh, it's, uh, this wrestling circuit, huh? Bouts, uh, training, full-time job. Um, I don't know, it keep you pretty busy. So I guess uh, the old Avenging Angel have to go off duty for a while, huh? Are you kidding? None of the great wrestlers leave their personalities in the ring. We stay in character. There is no rest for the Avenging Angel. Uh, don't you need to concentrate on your wrestling? You heard the man, Gloria. There's no rest for the Avenging Angel. Milt. You didn't save Nate's life at the arena. And you didn't stop the guys at the glass door either. Yeah. Did you hear the one about the seven dwarfs? Milt, listen to her, okay? It's true. Now, Gloria has the ability to, to kind of uh, move things around a little bit. Yeah, what do you do, fly or something? Milt, you have to believe us. Look, maybe you guys think I should change my name to Captain Gullible. Huh? Oh, excuse me. The angel is in. No injustice too big or too small. Don't you think it's time for a little demonstration? Yeah, but I don't want to disappoint him. And this the whole life could... Could be over. If he's in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, yeah, all right. Uh, listen, I gotta run. Uh, there's some junkies uh, ripping off purses in Heritage hey. Park. Hey, Milt, listen, man, don't, you can't go. You're gonna get yourself hurt. I, I don't know what's wrong with you guys, but uh, leave me alone. Huh? Well, let us at least give you a lift. Okay? Great. Rainbow dips would have been cheaper. Uh, you ready to talk business? All right, he's gone. Park, I know a shortcut. Come on. It was a shakedown, wasn't it? No. This is a lousy neighborhood. Street gang hassling us, that's all. Pretty old for a street gang. Johnny, please. Stay out of it. No, I can't. I want to know who you're paying. Don't ask questions. Look the other way, everybody else does. It's safer. Everybody except for Milk. He was the first one I've ever had guts enough to stand up to those guys, twice. Shut up, Nate. Don't be a fool. No, I've had enough. It's about time somebody else... Hey, Hetty. Put a dog on for me. Well, uh... Thanks for the popcorn. Easy on the onions. That's him. The cop I saw being juiced by the mob. No wonder Nate lost his nerve. Honest, Riggs, I didn't tell him anything. Convince me. It wouldn't hurt for us to know how much Mr. Serve and Protect hurt. Right. Hold this.
You don't even know who these bums are. I didn't mean anything, Mix. I, I was just letting off a little steam. Yeah. Well, the only steam I want to see around here is in your bun warmer, old man. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. That's good. That's good, Nate. I wouldn't want to have to tell Mr. Rogers. I, um... I better take these back to Hetty. Just so we know where we stand. Make good time. Okay, do it. Angel, help! Hurry, hurry over here! Come on! There he is! Now watch it! Go turn around. I'll agree. If this is another one of those surveys, I mean, soliciting in a public place, I mean, I think that's really tough.
rules, if the headsman uses his axe, he will be disqualified. Disqualified? Yes, and you will win the match. No! No! Billy? Billy, wake up! Gloria, is that you? Yes. You all right? I don't know. Was that my pain I, I heard? Wait a minute. If I can express pain, that means I have a mouth. If I have a mouth, I've got a head. Gloria, you, you do see my head, right? I mean, I got a head. No, my eyes are taped shut. My feet are chained. What, you can't see anything? No, there's nothing I can move to help us, Billy. Miss Nance hasn't heard from them all day. Maybe they're having trouble finding Milt. Doesn't look like he's too hard to find. Hey, Milt. Hey, dudes. Milt, have you seen uh, Billy, Dr. Hayes, and Gloria? Uh, yeah, I saw him this morning. But I had an emergency. It turned into a false alarm. I guess uh, you got to learn to expect that in the saving business, huh? Uh, didn't they talk to you about being the Avenger? Like, maybe retiring? Look, I, I told them, and, and I'm telling you, forget it. This is my life now. You know why I'm here? Because I got a match. Professional match. Great. Now what? In the storeroom, that cop that was threatening Nate. Didn't you say he mentioned some Rogers guy? Right. And in this part of town, that guy is dangerous, B-Man. You know, the way I figured, if Billy and Glow are in the soup, he owns the pot. Why don't you uh, stick around here in case they show up, keep your eye on Milt, and I'll go pay a visit to Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Right. Later. Okay, Milt, I want you to listen to me. The only thing I want you to worry about is giving the fans a good show. You understand? Hey, and I hear Cindy Lauper is out there uh, scouting out the local talent. <laughs> she is? Yeah. And tonight, Bates Motel goes down. He does? Yeah. Bates Motel is top draw. The fans always know what to expect of him. But when the Avenging Angel knocks him off, do you realize what the rematch will mean financially? I won't disappoint you or the fans, Mr. Kovic. Atta <laughs> boy. <laughs> you go on now, right? Hey, you got your own locker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that about it? Almost. I better stop off and see the motel is properly motivated. Mr. Rogers wants the angel's halo in pieces. Billy, is that you? Is it, did you feel that? Yeah. Okay, then you're right in front of me. Listen, I think we'd like an auditorium seats. The back of my seat's loose. How's yours? Yeah, mine too. All right, look. This is what we'll do. What? Shh. Something's coming. Hey, look, I can hear you. Uh, why don't we talk about the situation rationally? Save it. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm not one of those people... That, well, you know, one of those people that buy uh, all that junk that you read about and see on the tube, you know? Listen, I gotta tell you, I, I uh, think you guys have gotten a bad rap all the way down the line, and I really mean that. I mean, I never even watched Mafia Princess last hey, month. Hey, don't get so tense. You and the lady can split as soon as your friend Milt gets his in the ring today. Glow, are your hands chained behind the seat, too? Yeah. Right, look, I'm going to try to knock the, the back off that seat. Give me as much room as you can, uh, okay, with your arms? Okay. okay. Is that okay there? Yeah. All right, there you go. Ow! All right, keep it up. I think it's working. All right. Here it goes. Three points from the 60. Ah! Glow, where are you? Ow! Ow! Look, just, just stay, just stay still, okay? I'll find you. Okay. Well, Chloe, you, uh, you smell pretty good. Billy, I'm underage, all right? All right. I mean, how bad could the rap be for statutory smell, huh? Billy. Okay, okay, okay. Huh? Ah, okay. Uh, I forgot to ask. Did you do this with one eye? Uh.
The answer is yes. Checked all the buildings owned by a guy named Rogers. He's the one running the protection racket. Tyler, can you throw 220 in here? driving could do to your insurance? Yeah, you know what Bates Motel can do to Milt's body? blocks. No, I hate to do it, but I gotta stop it. No, don't do it to me. Another head jam. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid the avenging angel is taking a bad beat. Oh, Big Motel throws the avenging angel right out of the ring. Stay down! Stay down! Anybody else? Come on, get me! Bates is out of the ring! He's going crazy! Ten! Eleven! Twelve! No, 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 not for us! Milk, that's enough! Please! 
Let somebody stop it. Come on, stop it, referees. That's going to stop me. Yeah, Mr. Rogers is just going to be a member in his new neighborhood. Unbelievable! After 423 consecutive matches without a loss, tonight, Bates Motel goes down for the count at the hands of the Avenging Angel. The crowd is going wild! Five of hearts, three of clubs, king of diamonds. You're right again. Oh, now see, Richard, you're ruining everything oh, with this flea spray. Uh, I'm ruining everything. I'm ruining. Humanodyne is infested with fleas. Two guys in accounting had to be dipped today. Four of diamonds, jack of spades. Better check payroll, too. Payroll? No, not a moment to lose, Richard. Payroll. Okay, Mrs. Willis, I have in my hands a photograph from the Halloween party, the misfit. Dr. Hayes is stuck in a giraffe suit with Linda, the lab technician, and... Hey! 
I've been looking all over for this. And it's not Linda. The Linda. Close enough. Ten. We have an infestation here. We have an infestation here, and you two are sitting around doing card readings and parlor tricks? I didn't say that. But you most certainly were about to. Richard, this is an accredited blind test for ESP proficiency. Dr. Hayes! The Avenging Angel called. Oh, how nice! He's decided to give up prime fighting and wrestle full time. He'll win, too, you know. At least once. And Mr. Stepmeyer, there's a call from the fourth floor. Not the fourth floor. Yes, it is. The senior vice president is scratching. Yo, hey, Rich. Flea man. Stick with me. Oh, Mr. Stepmeyer? Mr. Stepmeyer? Mrs. Willis, is there a problem? Oh, my word, yes. I've got to stop him before he uses. Elevator number two. Bunnies.